So I am here with the one and only Jurgen Rasmussen. Jurgen, welcome. Thank you, Adam. Pleasure to be here. Uh, for those that don't know, Jurgen, Jurgen's been, been seeing clients professionally since back in the late 90s. Um, he's author of the brilliant book, uh, Provocative Hypnosis, um, um, and, and Provocative Suggestions more recently. Um, consistently works with clients all over the world in addition to teaching seminars internationally. He's, he's a regular at the UK Hypnosis Convention and every year um, brings something fresh and stimulating. Um, and I'm really excited about welcoming him back this year. Um, in particular, um, 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 Jürgen's, Jürgen's um, um, uh, uh, presentation this year is one that I'm, I'm really excited about um, because it's going to be about how it is possible to help people change their allergic response. So, Jürgen, before I, before I go on anymore, um, give us some broad strokes on some of the thinking behind the, your approach. Right, right. So, when I first started studying NLP and then hypnosis, but I was into NLP first, the most exciting kind of groundbreaking thing for me was the idea that you could change an allergic response. Yeah, yeah. Because, and I didn't suffer with allergies myself, so it was not a matter of, can I finally get rid of my allergies? Because I didn't have any. But the idea was so, like, if, if you go to a course, people will often talk about, you know, how it's possible to change, you know, a phobic response or a compulsion or what people consider to be in the psychological realm. Yeah. And pretty much everything we did would by conventional thinking qualify as belonging to the psychological realm. And then you have this one exception, which was <laughs> allergies. Yeah, yeah. You, see, you suddenly had this allergy pattern. And I was like, of course, most people have this mind body split thing pretty ingrained where they kind of go, well, that's physical and that's psychological, you know, and that doesn't belong, right? Yeah. You, you suddenly had this one thing that, that, that was like, an allergic response? What? Changing an allergic response? Like, what the hell is that? Like, is that, because that to me seemed like uh, dipping your toes into a, almost like a forbidden world or a, or a different world. So yeah. it was like, A, yeah, really. is, is, this, is, is this possible? And I discovered that it was, at least a lot of the time. And of course, what else may be possible? And the answer to that, of course, is who knows? But it's, it's, it's an interesting exploration. So that was yeah. my original passion. And um, I've done a lot of work in that realm and I've found ways to simplify it uh, and, and make it more and more user friendly for people. So I thought, um, I, I noticed that relatively few people seem to do that type of work for, for some reason, I don't know why, but very yeah. few do. So I thought, why don't I, because I usually do this at seminars as live demo. So why don't I get someone or two and work with them live on stage instead of just talking about it, giving some people the opportunity to actually experience it and get people to see it. And I think also for credibility, I think the fact that you are part of, you know, selecting these folks, uh, you know, to kind of ensure that they aren't just friends of mine, you know, <laughs> with, with, with a special deal, you know, you know, that type of... Uh... I mean, let, let me just make that plain uh, uh, as well for people that are, that are yeah. tuning into this, um, because, you know, one of the things I've always greatly admired about you is that, um, um, you, you know, you, you, you test what you do, you test it, right. um, um, you, you, you permit yourself to be challenged and, and you work in very real terms up on the stage. Um, and I, I know we've discussed this before, where actually you followed up with, 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 with people that have been up on stage at trainings and things like that. But, but, but here um, with this, we, we, we are asking, we're specifically asking today um, um, for, for volunteers. Um, because you, you, you are going to do live change work on stage with one or more people who have food allergies right. um, um, and, and, and looking to, to test the results for right. everybody to see. 
you know, which is, which, which, which is massive, incredibly exciting thing to do. You know, to, yes. tell me about what people can expect. Well, I, I, I think the, the allergy thing is a very rewarding thing to do, too, because you, you can usually test it, you know, live. And yeah, yeah, and yeah. You, you you can you can see you know pe people can people can bring the the selected food and, and we can you know we, we can test it and um, so what we're looking for is someone who has you know food allergies not not allergies that that would not be responsible to do but 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 food food allergies you know stuff that's safe to test uh, people who know they have such an allergic response and obviously people who 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 want a different response and who are genuinely yeah. curious and and want to play and and also are comfortable with the idea of being on stage that's uh, that's that's the main uh, the main thing and and i really like testing and exploring and and you know back to this point you know i, I i'm a lucky bastard i i I had John Grinder as like an informal mentor for quite a few years. And yeah. sometimes people ask me, what's the most useful thing you got for him, from him? And it was a lot of stuff, but the, the visceral thing is seeing him fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm not kidding. Because of course I intellectually knew that of course he had to not get results with, with everyone, but it was something to see it and see the way of handling it. And, not that I needed it, but it, I'll put in quotation mark, it gave me more permission to, to yes. do the same. And, and I think yeah. as a teacher, sharing it on stage, and if we, if we are successful, great. If not, the students will get a chance to, to see some troubleshooting and, yeah. and see ways of dealing with that. And hopefully we'll also have some way for the... Um, um, the volunteers to check back on the forum, you know, over time and, 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 and yeah. hear, you know, what their actual, cause that's always, them up and see how they're getting on, yeah, you know, yeah. what's happening in the world. Cause you, you want that information. That's how you yeah. learn. That's the exciting, that's the exciting parts. Yeah, and that the world of the world of, you know, the, the, the therapeutic environment, for example, is not, as idealistic as as some demonstrations would would, would have us believe there are a little yes. bit you know that, that they're kind of filled with with, with with an idealistic notion that it isn't very, very representative of reality um and, and i really like that i really like seeing people uh, uh, being challenged as much as i'm as, as i'm rooting for them um yes. to do to, to do wonderful things it's lovely yeah. to see the reality of, of them being challenged and overcoming that or working with it um, and, 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 and seeing what they do in that very, very realistic, much more kind of realistic yeah, the, 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 the messiness and, and the realness of it and, and the, because, uh, yeah, I think, you know, often we look for the demo subjects that kind of are easy to, work with and for understandable reasons because you want to demonstrate something but yeah but um yeah i i just think it's so important to that transparency and that openness i i developed this pesky habit that for some reason i seem to be one of the few people to do but i would i would go to seminars and i would get the phone numbers and the email addresses of like the demo subjects and i would contact them a couple of months later go hey this is Jurgen from the seminar you know how is that x yeah and i yeah. I, 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 love that. I i discovered that a lot of demos that often look very spectacular with strong shapes you know state shifts and a lot of raw raw on stage that that did not necessarily map onto any predictability uh, as to how people would report you know changes or not changes over time. And yeah. not that that's necessarily a problem, but it's, but those distinctions are not necessarily made often by the people who do demos on stage. Yeah. And, and, and then the students go home and, and, and sometimes they're kind of confused about like, wait a minute, this looks so easy on stage. Like what, yeah. what's, what's happening here in, 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 in the messy real world? Yeah, quite right. Quite right. You know, the reality is quite different. Um, um, you, um, you, you mentioned in your write-up as well that, 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 that if there is time at the end, 
you know, you, you, you'll perhaps have some discussion on the implications of this work into the reality of kind of mind body work and psychosomatic issues. Um, um, because you, you know, I, 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 th 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 there is a, there is a psychosomatic component to this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I've done a lot of work in, in, in the realm of, aller of allergies. I, you know, but in terms of implications and what may be possible, I mean, I have a lot more questions than answers. But it's but 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 it's 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 an interesting topic to explore. Yeah. That that and it, it's it's also very interesting. It really if you, is. If, if you look at, for example, remember uh, a psychology student I knew. He, he used to say, you know, well, this NLP and hypnosis stuff. I mean, CBT, you know, REBT, Alice, you know, they essentially do the same type of stuff. You know, like there's nothing you guys bring to the table. I said, well, you, you're right to to a large extent, and When's the last time you heard about a CBT or REBT person work successfully with an allergy? Yeah. Like, like it, it, it doesn't seem to be like part of the map, so to speak. Like, yeah. like so, so if, if these demos and, and, and the lecture can inspire some folks to, to look in that direction and to play in that direction, yeah. that would be awesome. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it really will. You know, I, I, I'm incredibly excited about this. You know, I'm, I, I'm getting front row seats for this particular. For this particular. Um, I'm, I'm yeah. really excited. Um, I, I'm, for anybody that's watching this, um, if there's if there's someone you know, um, or if, if you yourself um, would be interested in coming and volunteering, um, I'm, I'm at the UK Hypnosis Convention, coming and working with with Jurgen, uh, being a volunteer to to, to, to to look at working with with, with, with an allergy or food intolerance um, and that would be uh, that would be wonderful get in touch with uh, with myself or Jurgen and yes. um, um, we'll, we'll set things up according pre pre preferably both and uh, oh two things uh, not not allergy and, and not like um... yeah 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 not not a nut allergy what's this called in in uh, English there, there, there's something in Norwegian called celiacy. It's not, uh, celiacs. Yeah, not that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to, to, to work with that effectively. So I'm, I'm not yeah. looking for that. But, but anything else? Uh, yeah. yeah, great, great. Yeah. Um, 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 so, so get in touch with us. Um, and likewise, um, um, you want to come and sit in, you want to come and join me in the audience um, um, and watch this, watch this happen. Um, and then visit the website, ukhypnosisconvention.co.uk. Come and watch Jürgen's presentation. Um, as, as with all of Jürgen's presentations, I think, I think it holds a huge amount of promise and, and I'm really excited about it, as I said. Um, even I'm, if it's early in the morning, even if it's early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I, 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 you know, what, 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 I, think, I think this is something um, um, that's gonna be uh, re really awesome to behold. Um, um, Jürgen, th thanks, thanks for offering this presentation at the UK Hypnosis Convention. Thanks for talking to me today. Um, um, best wishes. I look forward to seeing you in November. Thanks for having me.